luxury designer fragrances for men that are worth the investment. So designer fragrances, they do pretty well on the fragrance market, but the ones I've compiled here are arguably some of the best and the most worth it. Uh, and as always, all the fragrances that I mentioned will be available in the Amazon Associate links down in the description below. I'm going to start with a pretty popular one, which is Valentino Uomo. So this is a very nice, warm, sort of uh, leathery, velvety sort of fragrance with a little bit of myrtle uh, thrown in for, you know, some, some greenness. But this is really nice. I wear this sometimes just because I like it. It's just a nice, warm fragrance, really good for cold weather, but also versatile enough for even when the weather gets a little bit warmer. It has really good projection, really good longevity, about seven to eight hours, and it just has a nice smell to it. It has a nice kind of unique leatheriness to it that I think is very attractive. Um, now, it actually isn't that uh, expensive. Usually I find it between 80 and $90. So, I mean, under $100, you're good to go in, in the fragrance industry. It's considered affordable, but um, this is definitely a very high quality option. You can tell that as soon as you smell it. Um, and again, it just has that nice kind of warm ruggedness and coziness to it from that warmth that it has. Uh, and again, the bonus of that it lasts a long time, so you don't really need to worry about uh, reapplying it, which is nice. Um, but besides Valentino Uomo, another one that I think is really nice, really attractive option is Dior Homme Intense. So all all the regular Dior Hommes are good, like the Eau de Toilette and things like that. Um, this is one of my top tier options, the Intense version, just because it has such a nice smell to it. It has some ambrette, it has some uh, iris thrown in there. It's able to be heavy and warm, but also a little bit fresh because um, sometimes fragrances go all in for the whole like heavy uh, warm and rugged type of thing and then it ends up being a little too intense but despite the you know the word intense being in the name it's actually very well balanced um, it's not going to give you a headache or anything from being too strong um, just very pleasant uh, I feel that the the iris note that it has really balances out some of the heavier muskier notes that it has so Again, very balanced uh, and just very pleasant to smell. Even though this is more of an evening fragrance, I would say it's versatile enough to be worn during the daytime in uh, actually many occasions, especially when the weather is nice and cold, because again, this is a pretty warm fragrance. But besides this one, another one that's actually kind of similar, um, but you know, has a little twist on it, uh, Narciso Rodriguez. Blue Noir, uh, for him, I think this is an absolutely delicious fragrance. It's, again, pretty similar to Dior Homme Intense, but the twist is that it has some different notes. It has some ebony wood thrown in there, um, and it has a little bit of spiciness to it as well, uh, which Dior Homme doesn't have. Dior Homme is more, again, smooth, kind of even a little bit sweet from the iris. This is a little bit more on, on that uh, rugged side, I would say, but it still has a certain smoothness. The wood notes that it has gives it a, it, it kind of grounds it, uh, it gives it a nice foundation. This has really good longevity, eight to nine hours, uh, I would say for most people. Really good projection as well. You really don't have to, to put on too much of this to get the effect that you want. Um, people will definitely notice this. It has a really unique smell to it because of that ebony wood and how it mixes with the other notes that it has. Um, but in general, this is really nice. More so for the evening. It's kind of more of a designated evening fragrance, but um, again, also could be used for cold weather, like the winter, like it is now. But um, really, really delicious, very attractive men's fragrance. Now, Another one, which I don't have, uh, but is kind of the, the cream of the cream, cream of the crop, uh, which is Dior Sauvage. Everyone pretty much knows about Dior Sauvage by now. It's arguably one of the most 
well-known men's fragrances out there. Uh, it's considered an aromatic fragrance, kind of a fougère, meaning it's herbal and fresh and crisp, um, while still having some peppery notes like pink pepper in it. Um, super, super attractive fragrance, designer uh, fragrance. And most people really, really like it. Both men and women find Dior Sauvage immensely attractive. It has some notes of bergamot, pink pepper, some herbal notes. Uh, woodsy notes, you know, natural, but very strong and intense, um, rugged, but fresh, you know, it kind of mixes all those, all those notes together uh, to create a very unique option. Now, the longevity on it is also really, really good. Most people find that it's around eight to nine hours, maybe even a little bit longer. Uh, and I would say it's a, it's a really good year round fragrance. Um, warm enough for the cold weather but fresh enough for hot weather as well so again it's kind of an all-encompassing fragrance um it is a, a bit more on the expensive side but uh if you had to just buy one fragrance and no, you know nothing else dior sauvage is pretty much the go-to option for a lot of people just because it is so versatile and it does smell so good um uh, according to many people um but the only problem is that it is pretty oversaturated just because it is so popular. Um, so if you want kind of an alternative that smells a little bit similar, but maybe it's a, a, just a tiny bit off the beaten path, then I would say Bleu de Chanel, which is obviously from Chanel. Very, very similar fragrance. It's also considered an aromatic fougère type fragrance. Uh, you know, it has the herbs, it has the bergamot, the pink pepper, the wood notes. You know, they share a lot of similar notes. Some people argue, you know, this is stronger, that's stronger, this is fresher, that's fresher. Uh, but they are very, very similar, just in general. Um, definitely, I would, I would argue that Bleu de Chanel is a little bit fresher and a little bit sharper than um, Dior Sauvage, but that's just, you know, my kind of input there. But again, they're both very, very nice uh, options. And, you know, similarly, uh, Blue de Chanel has great longevity, great projection, uh, really, really high class designer brand. Uh, you can't really go wrong with it. Um, but overall, uh, just, you know, <laughs> a really good option for most occasions in your life throughout the year, no matter if it's daytime or nighttime, that sort of thing. But that is pretty much my video for these uh, designer men's fragrances, luxurious men's fragrances. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, of course, leave a like, maybe subscribe, and I make videos throughout the week, so stick around for those.